Well, hey everybody, how you doing? This is a new one for me. We just got this in as a recent acquisition for the shop, and uh, it's pretty badass. <laughs> Stay tuned to this video. I'll tell you a lot more about the Sturmendron. Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. I hope you're having a fantastic day out there. Um, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button down there, smash it, do whatever you want, or just lightly touch it. Um, we have a whole bunch of awesome new horns coming to the shop, which includes this one. This is uh, one of Martin's um, great all-around trumpets. Uh, as you know, we've been selling a lot of the Tumultus uh, trumpets, and I actually have one in my own personal collection. This is a new one for my collection, which is really the shop's collection. So when you come and visit ACB, you'll have a chance to try one of these great horns. This is a, a really wonderful all-around trumpet. Very light, balanced. It has a beautiful bell. I want you to check out this bell. It's 125 millimeters here, so it's about a Bach belt maybe a smidge smaller um but look at the the way the bell is flared especially right here it's quite compact it reminds me of the wonderful old super recording trumpets it really is super projecting and has great core uh he's got his bracing here uh a little bit further up because this is a traditional tuning slide as you can see this is a rounded crook, and he uses the um, European Amato style keys. This is double braced and not reversed. So that allows the brace position to be further up towards the bell, which makes this horn very, very, very secure. It's got a lighter receiver, as you can see right there, and the great Meinl Schmidt Ma pistons, which feel just amazing. So uh, another thing to note here is a nice ferrule coming outside of the bell and this beautiful bell curve. That's where the brace position is there. And it's minimally braced between the bell and the lead pipe. So the result is just a really great all around trumpet. It, I, if you've played the tumultuous horns and felt they were a little too wide, for instance, I have to be honest, I love the tumultuous trumpet, but it's a little too wide for me to play in the KCJO. I need something that blends with box, colicchios, and lightweight, uh, lightweight box, colicchios, and chilkies. So I need a horn that's a little lighter, a little brighter. Here's how Martin um, describes the horn. So check it out. So sorry for my bald head here, but um, you can see is well balanced in weight and sound. The sound is rich in harmonic contest, light and smooth, controllable. Perfect instruments who prefer less weight and a big sound jack of all trades so i really think that's the case so if i wanted to go from check this out In the matter of seconds, you could do it. It's a really, really versatile horn. Here are the specs on the horn. Lightweight lead pipe with a lightweight receiver, as you can see. Lightweight nickel silver rings. So it's all based on being a lighter horn. Now I would say the weight of this horn, and it shows you it's just a smidge over a kilogram. Um, that's probably in the realm of a lightweight Bach um, or an Adams A5 trumpet. 11.7. Uh, if you're not uh, used to the conversion, 11.7 is 0 0.460. And if, like I mentioned earlier, the bell dimension is about the same as a Bach. So 
If you want to play just all around things like here's some Marbin. Ah, that other mouthpiece is so small, sorry. G is massive. I, I, I'm i sure I'm uh, blowing uh, my mic here, but it is a massively, beautifully sounding horn. And what I think I love, I just absolutely love the mod block for, is the evenness. So when you're playing certain passages, like if you're going from A flat to A, it's so nice. That is very challenging to, challenging to do in a non-ma setup. And that is very, very, very clean and simple. Want to play some jazz on it? No problem. really fun horn. So this horn, this is not for sale, sorry. We have to have a permanent horn for people to try at the shop. So this horn will be at the shop. It will actually be at TMEA next week if you're watching this. Um, so come check it out. Uh, you could place an order for one, but we're not gonna be able to sell it because Martin's wait lists are getting longer and longer because his horns are so good. Um, thank you so much, Martin. You are uh, an incredible craftsman and we truly love having your horns in the shop. Uh, if you have any additional questions, you know how to reach us. Info at AustinCustomBrass.com, 816-410-0826. Hit that subscribe button. Stay up to date with us. Thanks so much for all you do for ACV. And I'm going to play some high notes on this thing just because. Hold on.